Hello and welcome to another episode of DIY Hydroponics with BX. And on today's episode, we're going to show you how to make a hydroponic unit using a heavy duty tote. Now this particular tote I purchased from one of the big box stores and it happens to be 27 gallons. All right, and when you get a tote you want to make sure it's heavy duty and you want to make sure you get something as opaque as possible because if you allow light to get into the, to the unit it causes algae. Before we get started, actually we're going to tell you, I'm going to tell you all the supplies that you're going to need. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need, let's talk about tools. So you're going to need a drill. You're going to need a tape measure. You're going to need a various supply of bits, like a one inch bit, I have 11 16, I have a half inch bit. Also, you're going to need a PVC cutter. This is just one of the uh, many devices that you can use to cut PVC. You can also use a skill saw to cut it. Um, you can use a, a PVC pipe cutter. You can use a manual unit like this. Uh, you can also use uh, certain types of hacksaws to do that as well. You're going to need a, a marker, okay? You're going to need a hole saw, all right? You're also going to need uh, net cups. Now, for the purpose of this, we're using uh, two-inch net cups, and these net cups uh, have a wide lip, and we'll tell you why that's really, really important a little bit later on, but net cups. Um, in addition to those things, there are some supplies you need in terms of PVC, and for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to build a PVC frame inside of the unit. Uh, so what we're going to need is, uh, this is half inch PVC piping. Uh, you're going to need about, about 15 feet of PVC. And from that 15 PVC, you're going to actually cut it up into various parts. Uh, I've done some of this work already. Uh, and I'm going to tell you what we have here in front of us. So we've got two segments. Oh. We'll go over this, but I'll tell you how we came up with this. Actually, what we had to do is we, we measured inside of our unit. And the measurements that I came up with, which determined uh, the length of the PVCs that I cut, uh, my length was 27 inches wide, and my width was 17. And what I want to do is really go down a couple of inches. So if I measured inside, it was 27 when I went down two inches and then 17 on the inside there okay so I'll have on the screen a diagram which will show you the actual layout but uh, what for, for the purpose of this we're going to use two pieces at 25 inches we're going to need four pieces I'm sorry six pieces at four inches we're going to need four pieces at 12 inches two pieces at one inch uh, we're going to need the PVC tees, seven of those, and four of the 90 degree elbows. In addition to that, when we get ready to make our drain, we have a half inch grommet, which this can be gotten from um, your big box store. We're using an elbow as well as a piece of tubing, half inch tubing. All right. Um, we're also going to be using a submersible pond pump. And this particular palm pump pumps up to 5.5 feet in height, okay? Uh, this also flows 264 gallons per minute. I'm sorry, gallons per hour, all right? We're also going to be using, um, these are fan sprayers. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be tapping our PVC and inserting the fan sprayer. So that's how we're going to create the um, the spray for the roots of the plants once we put them in the hydroponic unit. So we have two types. We are, we're going to be using 180 degree fan sprayers. I'm sorry. This one is 180 degrees and we're also going to be using 320 degree fan sprayers. Uh, one additional thing, we're going to need an adapter. This is a half inch adapter. Uh, it's threaded on one side and the PVC is open on the other side. And then we're going to be using this to make our our spout uh, for the pump okay and also one piece which is seven and three quarter inches all right I believe that's about it for that 
we're going to go ahead and start on the assembly. We're going to construct the middle pieces first. So what we're going to do is take a 12 inch and we're going to put it in here. I'm going to follow that with another piece here. We're going to put our other 12 inch on this side. And we're going to put another another T on this end. All right. This is the first segment of our middle portion of the unit. All right. And as you're watching, if you like what you see so far, go ahead and hit that like button at the bottom. And also subscribe to us so you'll know when we submit or release new uh, videos. Okay. All right. So the next part of this is we're going to take our one inches and we're going to take another T and we're going to put these in the sides. We're going to push them in real good. This is going to go right here. And then we're going to come back with another T on the opposite side. So this is what is going to form the downspout that goes to the pump, which will be below. All right. And we come back with another 12 inch, another 12 inch. It's kind of like if you're good putting puzzles together, you'll love this. All right. And let's see, I'm going to need a 12 and a four here. Let's do this. Let's go here first. And then we'll go here. I love it when things come together, you know? I was one of those kids who put Legos together as a kid. I, I just I just loved it. Alright. Hopefully you can see this coming together. We're actually just building a frame. And this Oops, let's do it like this. This particular frame is going to serve two purposes. It's actually going to provide um, the water, the watering system for our hydroponic plants, for the roots, and it also may, may supply support for the top of this unit once we put it in. Oh, cool. I think I did something wrong, <laughs> but that's okay. And another thing too is you don't necessarily, with, with this being an, a not a high pressure system, you don't necessarily have to glue this together, but you may choose to. Just know if you glue it together, just be careful and make sure you have everything together the right way and not incorrect like what I just did. Okay, we're starting to cook here. All right, we're going to throw some half inches on here. And let's come in with our elbows. You want to squeeze it nice and tight. All right, so from there, we're going to add our long runs. That seems to be fitting well. Let's get to go that way. Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun doing this. Um, and you'll be happy when I finish and you'll be able to see the results and it's working. Now I've decided we're going to actually do this video in two parts only because of the length of time that, that it may take to put this all together. Oops, that's not right. Wrong piece. And we have the little shorties on here. And the elbow. Almost there. It's coming together nicely. And this last piece.
let's see here. This has got to go in here. And when we fit this actually in the unit, we want to make sure that the um, unit fits nice and snug. Like I pull something apart somewhere. But we're going to put it together nice and tight. And you can see that's what we have here. Now, we don't want this to fit on top. We actually want this to fit a little bit down, about two inches down inside the unit. All right, so I've made this. Again, I had pre-measured this, so um, I knew what the measurements were to use, and we're actually going to put it in and just squeeze it down, just like so. All right, so that's what your frame should actually look like uh, once it's all together. So this ends part one of this DIY project, building a hydroponic tote.